Oh boy, so... Yeah, the Canucks lost another one, eh? First, it was Colind to the inevitable Seattle Kraken expansion draft. Then it was Jonah Gadjevich who gets claimed by the San Jose Sharks. And now it is Zach McEwen. Now, Friedman, man, you spelled his name wrong. I'll just correct you right there. It's with a K, not with an H. But Zach McEwen has been claimed by the Philadelphia Flyers off of waivers. This in itself is not the biggest loss in the world, right? Like, McEwen is not this paramount, game-changing, number one forward that got sent down because of some atrocity and got claimed for free by Philly. He is a depth player. But... The story of Zach McEwen and everything the Canucks fans watched out of this guy was something to behold. If you take a look at his profile here, 25 years old, 6'3", 205, one of the only right-handed forwards the Vancouver Canucks actually had in their system. Since Sutter is now gone and all that, it was kind of valuable to have those righties, which is kind of why Alex Chason was signed the other day. And essentially, the Vancouver Canucks selected Chase on over McEwen over here. But you can see he was undrafted despite being a pretty solid NHL frame. He was signed as a free agent out of the QMJHL, where he was an absolute maniac over there. Whole bunch of penalty minutes, whole bunch of points, good goal scoring ability too. And developing with the Utica Comets, McEwen was one of the only success stories out of Utica to actually come onto that team, develop in a significant amount of time, and make the NHL afterwards. 34 games played last season, 2 points, 44 penalty minutes, and... You know, the value of McEwen was a lot more than those points. He only had two of them, so it really wasn't all too valuable either way. But it was the physicality, you know? It was the game-changing ability of being able to body-check a guy along the boards to be able to stand up for your teammates in a fight. The Vancouver Canucks don't really have too many of those guys on the team outside of McEwen. And to be fair... Even though the game is kind of evolving to a playstyle where that sort of confrontation isn't all too valued anymore as it had been, let's say, 10, 15 years ago, you still have guys in the league like McEwen who could do the thing and who could fight the fight and stand up for his teammates when it was necessary. The Canucks don't really have too many of that outside of him, and Alex Chason certainly is not going to do that either, but... The plain and simple fact about it was Alex Chason is a lot more offensively capable than McEwen. I think we saw that a lot in this preseason when both Chason and Mack were on the power plays. I did think that Chason had a little bit more offensive poise. And sure, you could say, oh, it's the bottom six. Who cares about offense when it's the bottom six? But you still need to have those extra options available when you need them. And if somebody is out, like Brock Besser is out right now, you need to have somebody to be able to fill in on the power play, and that's what Chason was able to do. McEwen just doesn't really work out in that bumper spot like Chason does. So I could totally understand why the Canucks chose Chason over Zach. It just really hurts seeing one of the only Utica development stories come to fruition and actually be an NHL player get sent down because he was outplayed, and get claimed by Philadelphia. Now, the Flyers, I mean, look, when I think about the Flyers and everybody's like, oh, the Broad Street bullies, you know, everybody hates the Flyers because they're tough and gritty and difficult to play against and all that, McEwen kind of fits that style perfectly. Like, I'm not gonna lie, if I were to say Zach McEwen onto any other NHL team, my first instinct would have been Philly because, yeah, it's Philly. Maybe Boston could have been a close second over there, too, but Zach Attack is heading over to the Philadelphia Flyers. $825,000 till the end of this season. He's got one more year left, and then he will be a free agent. 25 years old, so the development curve isn't really there anymore. Like, I would be really surprised if McEwen breaks out and becomes, like, a 15, 20-point guy in the National Hockey League, but... It still kind of sucks to see you lose out on a guy like this, but at the end of the day, it is just another depth player. The Vancouver Canucks signed Chase on who is depth to replace him in the lineup. We still do have other guys like Dowling and Nick Patan and all that as well, so I'm not really too sure if it would be fair to say that those guys deserved a spot over McEwen either, but it's different roles, different positions, so... It's just unfortunate, man. Like, imagine telling you a year ago, okay, yeah, Colin, Gadjevich, Zach Attack, all gonna be gone by the time October rolls around in 2021. That's unfortunate.
That is really, really unfortunate. But either way, though, today is the very first Canucks game of the year, so we're going to be making a post-game video once everything is set in stone. So stick around to the channel for all of that. Please let me know in the comments all your thoughts about Zach McEwen and your thoughts about him heading over to the Philadelphia Flyers. I hope you enjoyed this video of Trolls 99, and bye.